I'm recording. Okay. Awesome. So I switched from Google Chrome to Internet Explorer and now YouTube is not acting up. So the main purpose of this video is I was scrolling on Facebook on my Kindle and <coughs> came across this video. <laughs> Look at him. Her. Him. I'm not sure. But just look. Accepting a touch from a complete stranger. You, you literally can see all these bumps and marks all over her face or his. And, you know, this isn't the first time, you know, I've heard of animal abuse. It's not the first time I've seen an animal be abused. But I guess because the breed that is being abused, it hurt me. Like, tears, crying, instant urge to make a YouTube video. There is no... I want to cuss so bad. There is no sense in hurting an animal. Now... Some people have problems where, you know, they're having an extremely bad day and they, there's no accident, but it's non-intentionally hurting an animal for doing wrong, for example, pissing on the floor, um, chewing toy, I mean, not toys, chewing, you know, anything of the owners, you know, pop them on their nose. When you pop me on my nose, I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. So, I'm pretty sure that a dog can feel a newspaper, a rolled up piece of paper, just your hand being popped on their nose or on their bottom. I mean, animal, oh, it pisses me off. And, you know, I'm not a vegetarian, but that has nothing to do with it because we don't eat dogs. Dogs are dogs are companions dogs are not just oh it just pisses me off you guys they're not like you don't hurt them they, they didn't do anything to be thought you know, I mean chickens don't do anything to deserve to be eaten you know um, but they're a resource of the land for us to eat you know yes granted we could all eat plants but some of us are omnivores, some of us are carnivores, you know, I mean, it just, there's no use in hurting animals, like pets, you don't freaking fight animals, you don't burn them, you don't freaking, I've seen, I've seen, and the thing is, the majority of the animals, dogs in, in, um, reference, hurt are pit bulls and they think because this dog has its ears clipped and that his tail's clipped or whatever and that he looks like or she looks like a butch you know a beast of a dog because most pit bulls have a very beautiful stance they have a broad chest they look like a fighting animal <laughs> not the case at all I mean if you're a subscriber of me, you know, like long-term subscriber of me, then you know that I'm a pit bull advocate. And, you know, I was going to, you know, when I get a job and I'm successfully, you know, independently, financially stable, I plan on donating to the, um, damn, I can't pronounce it, but the pit bulls and parolees, um, program, because they do so much for pit bulls. But... <laughs> This dog would not hurt a soul. Not at all. He was a five years old, you know. He, people thought he was, you know, scary because he barks. People get in your head. Animals are going to bark, you know. Like, duh. We talk. They bark. Um, you know. 
when you approach a stray dog, when you approach a dog that is owned, don't act scared. Now, act scared. I mean, be scared if they are foaming at the mouth, if they are, you know, showing their teeth, like, viciously. I've encountered that with Jack when he went through his seizure period. He didn't know me. He didn't know me from Adam. So he was scared to death. So when they act that way towards you, they are scared themselves. So there's no... You just have to be cautious. But don't just look at a dog and because of the breed think, oh, that's a vicious dog. That should be a legislation, you know, for the state that these dogs shouldn't be, you know, able to um, be owned. Because that is not the case at all. My dog <laughs> licked the baby. I mean, there was one instance when, you know, Riri, um, she was not a baby, she was like one years old, but, you know, he smelled her, the top of her head and, you know, nipped at her, but it wasn't like, I want to eat you, it wasn't, he was being playful, you know, like, dogs are not mean unless you make them mean. A dog shows what it's shown. That's why if you hit a dog, if you choke a dog, if you kick a dog, that dog is going to turn around and it's going to project what you do to that dog to another human being. And then that person is going to have that fear of that specific breed and have that, you know, stereotype that, hey, that animal is a vicious animal. That breed is a vicious breed. When clearly they are not. They're made by our ignorant beliefs, our ignorant actions as humans. Seriously, it's seven minutes on this video, but I am just outraged. Like you can't, you can't treat dogs and cats and you know pets like they're shit because it's gonna come back on you, or it's gonna come back on another person, and it's gonna be a vicious cycle. You know, just like the, um, the circle of life. Well, it's a circle of hatred when you teach animals violence. When you teach a human violence, when a child is brought up in an abusive home, they, most of the cases, end up in jail, end up using drugs, end up being an abuser to their spouse. <laughs> these are fucking, these are facts, people. I mean, I guess because it's coming up so close to Jack's birthday and because I'm just emotional right now I, I don't see a point in it you know I have people that help me out when I need it and they tell me to pay it forward and that's all I'm going to do I'm going to donate so that pits can be rescued so pits can be rebuilt, rehabilitated you know some prisons they're allowed to have dogs there in their cells it teaches people to love, you know, another being, whether it be an animal or person, you know, mm, mm. it tears at my heartstrings because I raised one, you know, um, had I had the amount of money to save him, to make his life better, I would have, but I didn't. You know, so I guess it hurts me because I had to put down a dog who was my best friend, who was my child, who I had grown so close to, you know. And I don't like seeing people fight dogs. I don't like seeing people abandon them. Um, it's wrong. It's so freaking wrong, you guys. Um, so, yeah, if you have money and stuff like that and you want to donate to a cause, I'm going to look up the site for pit bulls and parolees and donate to them. I mean, if you care for the pit bull breed, if you care for any breed, um, what is it, As ASPA or uh, As something like that, the American Association for Animals, um, you can donate to so many animal um, organizations that will rehabilitate dogs, rescue them, get them to a good home, you know. Sometimes it depends on the owners. 
You know, you can't give a certain type of dog to an owner that doesn't fit with that personality. You have to mesh or you have to raise your dog. You know, I raised Jack, so he, <laughs> he was Jack, he was mine, he knew better, you know, he had my personality, he had Kevin's personality, he was freaking awesome, and if you want an awesome dog, treat them like you would treat your child, because that's basically what they are, and I understand that a lot of people don't, um, see dogs as children or friends or companions, you know, some of them use them as farm animals, which that's all well. You know, as long as you feed them, give them water, shelter, don't keep them out in, you know, harsh conditions, that's not right at all, but, um, help all you can because there's no reason for people to be abused, there's no reason for animals to be abused, so please, please help dogs in general. So yeah, I love you guys, and that just tore up my heartstrings, and um, I think this is like my 761 video. <clears throat> so I'm getting close to 800, I have a flag, or a strike, I don't know why, but whatevs. Um, so yeah, love you guys bunches, hope you have a wonderful Monday, but you won't because it's Monday. Yeah. Much love. Peace out.